What's up guys? It's Talia. Welcome back. Welcome back to me as well. I know I've been gone for a while. Um, and the simple fact of that is I, I'm not going to say I lost my stitchy bug completely, but it was being very temperamental. Um, a lot, lot has happened over this last almost two months. I think it's been like a month and month and a half, give or take, month and three weeks, something like that. Um, I know the last video I did was the day after my birthday. And my birthday was on March 8th, so <laughs> sorry. And I know I have a giveaway to do for you guys. I did film the drawing. Um, and then since I've made you guys wait so long, I, um, I guess I'll go ahead and insert that and, um, so you can see who won. So I'll insert that right here. What's up guys? I'm here to do the drawing for the Teresa Wensler kit that I offered up back in March. I know, I know, um, it's been a while, but I am going to do this. So, because I'm sure you all would like to know who won the kit. Um, so I've already input the link to the video, which is my last video. Um, and we have a eight unique commenters. And I'm going to come down here. Start. And as you can see, it's going through the comments. Um, let's see. And she didn't mention anything about wanting to win the kit, so I am going to draw again. And, um, it comes up Stitch Bliss Corner again. Come on now, somebody other than Stitch Bliss Corner. <laughs> Love you, Mary Rose. Okay, let's see. It was a good haul. Boyfriend is definitely a keeper. I really like the Murder of Crows pattern. I think I may have to add that to my wish list. Happy birthday. What a generous gift to give away a kit for your birthday. I will say that the cut work makes me a bit nervous, but I would like to stitch the garden. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. So, since she said that she would like to stitch the garden, which was the magic words to put your name in for the drawing... HS Spark 2322, congratulations, you are the winner. I will comment on your comment and uh, uh, hopefully get this out to you as soon as I can. Um, so, yeah, be on the lookout for my comment <laughs> if it's not already up there. So, uh, congratulations again. And, uh, yeah, we will figure out a way to get this out to you. So, um, that's it for this particular little video clip. And uh, back to the other video. Bye. Congratulations to the winner. At this point, I don't remember who you, what, what what your name was, but um, because it's one of those like handles where it's not the person's name. Um, but um, be on the lookout for a reply, a, a comment on your comment on that on my last previous video um congratulations i know you did say in your comment that the white work the the, the um what do you call it this is the kit that this um kind of um that this pull work right here made you nervous so don't be nervous there's lots of support in our cross stitching community so congratulations um like I said, be on the lookout for that comment, your comment, and so I can get your information to ship this out to you and get this out to you as soon as I can. Promise on that. So, um, I do like this kit. This, like I said, has everything. I didn't realize when I gave this away. I mean, I didn't realize until I decided to give this away that I actually have the leaflet for it as well. And I'd rather just 
kitted it myself with DMC because I'm I tried doing a cute Teresa Wensler kit before and it's like the long lengths of thread just bothered me but anyway congratulations to the winner um yeah uh I debated on whether or not I wanted to go ahead and do another giveaway but I feel like I need to go ahead and do this giveaway because this is a calendar and it's a 2020 calendar and I would like to get this out to somebody so that maybe hopefully they can actually use it as a calendar if they so wish um this is another Listia purchase so they are cute um but my next giveaway is going to be the Taddy Teddies calendar and it looks like this came from the world of cross stitching possibly as a included in with the magazine issue somewhere but uh this runs through december of this year it has all these cute little bears so that that right there all those bears you see on the cover that's what all designs are in this there's only six designs in this calendar so the one with the little valentine and then the one barbecuing and the little the two with the santa caps they're cute i'm not myself i'm not much one for the tatty teddies they are cute but it's not really my aesthetic so but i knew that somebody out there would like the tatty teddies so if you want to put your name in for the giveaway for this just tell me tell me if you had a stuffed animal growing up like a favorite stuffed animal or favorite toy growing up and um yeah and then i will pull the giveaway winner from that that is the next giveaway, um, considering that we're almost in May. It would probably be nice for if a person wanted to use it as a 2020 calendar. If not, that's cool too. Um, so there's that. Now, since the business stuff is taken care of, for now I have some more stuff at the end that I want to talk about. But if you don't want to hear all the live stuff, and the news and all that stuff then i'll go ahead and do you with the whips and stuff and um i'll save that other stuff for last in case nobody's interested but you might want to stay around just saying there's some big news um the first thing is i did work on the so Lawn Dog Sampler's um, van sampler that was featured in the um, Gift of Stitching magazine. And well, I can show you what the first two parts look like. This is the first two parts. I'm still on the first part though. Um, I'm still up here on this first band. So... I actually, after so long of not watching Floss Tube, imagine my surprise when I watched um, Pam Reads, Pam's Crafty Corner, when I watched her video yesterday, and she showed that she had been working on it for a little while. And I'm like, OMG, me too. I didn't say that though. But I can show you what I got done on it. It's still on the same hoop. Um, this is where it's at right now. The last time you saw this, and I did look in my last video when I showed this, I only had this top border and the side border done. So I've done all the rest of this. Um, so it's not too bad. Um, there's like, there's a couple of shades of green in there. And really I was just working on filling the rest of these couple of blocks here. So. But that's what I got done. Um, 
I keep this around in case I want to work on it, but I might just go ahead and take it off the, um, take it off the, the hoop for now because I'm not really feeling it. That's, that's my issue right now is that for a while I haven't really wanted to stitch much. Um, I would say at least 75% of these last almost two months, like I haven't. I haven't wanted to stitch. Um, but I every once in a while I'll get the inkling that I want to pick up something. Sometimes I don't know what I want to stitch. Like I want to stitch in my mind, but I don't physically want to stitch. It's weird. Um, I just, in March, I started not feeling so great. And um, I'll tell you the reason why later on in the video. Um, and I, I started not feeling so great, and um, it kind of sucked all my stitching desire out of me. But I am feeling better, um, and um, it's it's slowly coming back to me, the, the desire to stitch. So I've been stitching a little bit um, when I can. Now, I know I had the whole whip go thing going on, and um, trying to stress over making sure I got I work on my whip go and all my plans and stuff. I'm not worrying about that right now. Um, ironically, though, I, the things that I have felt like working on the the things that I've been felt like working on the most right now is on my whip go. So at least there's that. Sorry, my mouth's getting dry. I've been real I've been really digging these right now. Um sorry I had a message come through. I've been really digging these right now. Um they come in different flavors but this strawberry lemonade one is kind of my favorite. Um and it's helping me drink more water. Which is important right now. Um, I only just recently started being able to drink my coffee again. I, I was I haven't been able to drink coffee for about a month, and I think today's Tuesday. By the way, did I forget to mention <laughs> today is actually Tuesday, April the twenty eighth. Sorry. Um, but just um. I think Friday or Saturday, I finally was able to have a cup of coffee again. Now, I used to drink two cups every morning, but so far, I'm good with one, um, which is fine. I just really missed having my coffee. I was starting to get a little bitter about it, um, but yeah, so I'm having to kind of cut down on sodas, but I can drink like... Um, water and juice and stuff like that so um i like those flavored waters anyway that was a little rabbit trail there for you um i haven't been trying i haven't really been really worrying about um my whip pro projects and stuff like that but ironically the last couple couple of things that i have been wanting to work on have actually been on stuff that's on my whip go which is good um the first thing that i've been working on other than that oh i forgot i had a finish where is my iro I'm, I'm missing a project i'm gonna have to go find him um I'm not taking this out of the bag, is Sleepy Hollow um, by Glendon Place. I'm switching this for Andy, my boyfriend. Um, still working on the horse. Don't get too excited. I'm still working on the horse. Um, and yes, I have worked with Poppy. I like 
leaflets like that where each section, each page is a given section of the design. I don't like it when it spans across the two pages or whatever. I like when it's specific to each page and you can just fold it over and photocopy it like it is. Anyway, that's that's how that kind of place is. But here's what I just at right now. Um, the last time you saw this, I had it here, and I think it came down to about here somewhere. And then I had this leg. Um, yeah, I had the legs, but I only had it like down here. Um, there was a few stitches down here that I needed to do, and then I've done this. And this is where we're getting into the tail. So, um, not a ton of work, all black. But, um, this is actually one of the ones that came up for May's drawing, May's numbers. So, I'm going to leave this out and hopefully get some more progress on this. So. Um, oh, and I am doing this on the, um, the suggested fabric, which is Haunted by Picture This Plus. It's a 28 count. And I don't work on 28 count that often. So, but so far, I mean, the black of the coverage is really good. So, this may be a shrunken 28 count. Just excuse the pet hair. We should know. If you don't know by my channel name that there's going to be cat hair and pet hair on just about everything, then I can't help you there. So, um, there's that. The other thing that I've been working on a good bit is, um, Death by Cross Stitch by Long Dog Samplers. Um, and just so this is Death by Cross Stitch. I have the printed copy of it, which is fine with me. I never used to really get into PDFs, which I still don't, but I know with a PDF I can print it out. Um, so let me show you where I got. It doesn't seem, just looking at progress, it doesn't seem like I've gotten much done, but I've worked on this a good bit. Um, I think the last time you saw it, I was working, I, I was working on this, um, diagonal, um, right here because my plan to tackle this very large diagonal is to do it one at a time, like doing this diagonal and then the design is in the middle and then going back and doing the third pattern diagonal, which is the same as this one. Anyway, I was here somewhere. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I was about here ish. Um, I had come up to about here on, um, this, this particular, um, diagonal and I've done all of this. This is actually the end of this diagonal. It comes down and does a 90 degree so that you get into that next, um, motif, the next section that's over here. So this is going to come straight down and then it's going to go out like that. So this is that line. Um, so yeah, there's, that's where I'm at right now. Um, and somebody in such mania one day was, um, asking about this. I forget what the question was, but she said she was doing it in 154. I remember now. She said she was doing in 154 and she wanted to know any good colors that went along with it. And I showed mine and I said, well, I'm doing it 154 as well. And, um, I'm also using 3750, which is this, this blue here. And then with a few spots thrown in of, I think it's 498. I think it's 498, that red, it's like a, a vintage red. So I like how this is coming out. I really do. Um, part of me 
wishes I had started this middle section right here in the purple because I need more of the purple but I'll be okay like the next section over here I think I might do in purple but we'll see and like I said I, I'm just figuring it out as I go so and this is on just a 32 count MCG linen um and I think it's oyster just the colorway so um, I have my skein of 3750 that I'm using. Because when you have skeins on skeins on skeins, you gotta have a way to keep your current one separated out so you know which one you're working on so you're not just pulling out a new length of a new skein every time you work on it. So, um, where is Iro? I'm missing one, and I thought I had, I thought it was in here, but apparently it's not. Hmm. Hold on, let me see if I might have left him in the living room. Hold on. I don't know. Um, I can't find him. I feel like he's in the living room, but I can't find him right now. But it was a new start, and um, it was a pattern that I got off on Etsy. And I started it with the hope that it would reignite my stitching bug. And it did for a couple of days. So, it's still not finished. Um, I'm still looking around for it. Um, I'll, I'll find it eventually. Um, and if I find it, I will show you guys in the next video. Um, it was a pattern I bought off Etsy and, um, it had been on my favorites. Like I had saved it a while back. And it's, it's a simple pattern. It's just, it's very cute. It is a, it's Uncle Iroh <laughs> from the animated show Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, and it's a kind of a quote from that show, and it's just simple, like, the, the figure of Uncle Iroh, and he's holding this flower. God, sorry. And he's holding this flower, and the quote is, um, delectable tea or deadly poison. And it has, like I said, it's Uncle Iroh, and he's holding the flower, and then it has a border around it, and then there's the flowers in each corner. Um, I will show that to you next time if I can find it, if I locate it. I should be, hopefully I'll be able to find it by the next video. Um, I started it, I got Uncle Iroh done, um, but I haven't, and I started on the border, but I haven't done the flowers. My main issue with that is that there's white in the flower. And I'm stitching it on white. And even looking at the design picture, you, can har you can't hardly see the white. So I'm trying to figure out what to do about that. If I want to try to backstitch those in another color, like in a light, like in a, maybe in a cream color so that you can see where the white's supposed to be. Um, but I don't know, when I get to that point, I will figure that out. Um, but that was a new start that I had a few weeks ago. Um, like I said, but I only got a few days and I got like maybe two and a half days on it. I didn't get much time on it. I'm so, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Um, I did have a finish and you guys would be so proud of me. <laughs> um, I did finally decide to bite the bullets and finish this little small thing that I've been working on for forever. It's a couple of years now. Um, I finished the acorn, um, autumn acorn or whatever this thing's called. This was a freebie that I got, um, from some order a long time ago. And, um, I don't know how you'd be able to find it, but it's, I feel like it was a freebie, um, by, the name of the designer is Tink Board Dill. 
last name is is b o o r d dash d i l l and i feel like this was a promotion by the graziana um fabric company i don't know i just there's a couple different names on here but this was a freebie that i got a while back and i finished it and this was on I remember uh, autumn. The name of it's Autumn Leaf, if anybody cares. Um, and it's um, the, it's a R and R Reproductions. It's called Green Tea. It's the colorway. So got that finished and off of my whip list. My whip, yeah. All the long list of whips that I have. So. If anybody wants this, this is, if anybody wants this, let me know. I'll be happy to send it to you in the mail. Not like I'm going to be stitching it again. I'm still looking for that pattern. It still bugs me that I can't find it. Um, that's most of the whips that I worked on, except for that one. Um, I did get a little bit of haul. Not a whole lot, though. Um. I did at the beginning of March. Was it the beginning of March? No, back in February, I think it was, or yeah, it might have been the beginning of March. I um, I canceled both of my um. I remember when it was. It was middle of March. Um, I canceled both my fabric subscriptions because I need to cut down on expenses. And I have I have a lot of fabric and I don't need a new piece of fabric coming to me every month. Um, Leslie was gracious enough and so I, I haven't gotten any more fabric from her since that last one you saw. Um, with the picture of this plus one through Needlecraft Corner, I did have to go ahead and commit to purchasing the next one, which was March's fabric. I thought I might have had to um, purchase April's as well, but I, it turns out I didn't. So I did get March's fabric in. Um, and this is what I took out. Because I'm not storing them in these bags. And it's ironic. And I say, why is it ironic? Because I already have a piece of this. I already have a piece of this that's. Um, I think it's an I think it's the Ada version. Um, but this is Pompous by um Under the Sea Fabrics. Not Under the Sea Fabrics, um Pictures Plus. Pompous. And I have the Ada version, which is what I restarted my um Mirabilia Miss Cherry Blossom on. So now I have an even weave. This is a 32 count Lugana. So I got that, which is a pretty color. I mean, it's, and then they sent boss pack with it. And then they sent a freebies with it. Um, another cricket collection mitten, a just another button company, St. Patrick's Day, um, like pot of gold. It says create your own luck. Um, there's a hand blessing Celtic cross pin and a, I'm guessing this is by Weeks Dye Works. It's a hope flower. It says hope down the middle. Um, and then we have a couple more on the sunflower seed, luck of the Irish, and then the little bunny from somebody RK portfolio maybe I don't know little bunny so got those freebies um I also got I've gotten this just came the like last week I think the newest just cross stitch um Give you an idea what's in it. So, 
Um, I am going to let both of my magazine subscriptions um, run out because, frankly, if I'm being honest with myself, I don't stitch a lot out of these magazines. Um, I also, like, a month ago got this. Um, just uh, the cross stitch gold. This one is the number 78. It's the May, June one. Um, can I show you what's in here? This one. And then there's these. that one. Yeah, there's a unicorn right there. And then you've got these. So, um, don't need to do a whole big flip through of that. Um, I did order one thing other than that Etsy. Well, the Etsy pattern that I can't find right now and um, I just ordered a custom charting of the quilt. Um, I did order this. Um, I forget where I first saw this. Um, I think at one point it was it was on a stash on load somewhere, and I read it, and I went about my way, and I kept. I really always kind of kept it in my mind that I wanted to get it one day, and so it came up again. Um, a month or so ago on, um, on, on, on another stash unload and I went ahead and picked it up and I know these words are hard to read so I'm going to read them to you it says I when I'm an old woman I shall wear purple with a red hat which doesn't go and doesn't suit me and I shall spend my pension on brandy and summer gloves and satin sandals and say we've no money for butter. I shall sit down on the pavement when I'm tired and gobble up samples in shops and press alarm bells and run my stick along the public railings and make up for the sobriety of my youth. I shall go out in my slippers in the rain and pick the flowers in other people's gardens and learn to spit. You can wear terrible shirts and grow more fat and eat three pounds of sausages at a go or only bread and pickle for a week and hoard pens and pencils and beer mats and things in boxes. But now we must have clothes that keep us dry and pay our rent and not swear on the street and set a good example for the children. We will have friends for dinner and read the papers, but maybe I ought to practice a little now. So people who know me are not too shocked and surprised when suddenly I am old and start to wear purple. And it's from the poem Warning by Jenny Joseph. So, I thought it was cute. I thought it was really cute. Because, you know, I love purple. So, I got that. And another thing that I got was... I went ahead and ordered a custom charted quote from Beth Twist of Heartstring Samplery. And you can do that on Etsy. Um, for the pattern, the... Um, Choose your own motto, I think it is. I've got so much stuff over here. Um, yeah, the choose your own motto sampler. And this kind of leads into a little bit of mania stuff. I know that I showed my mania plans um, at the end of 2019 when I was doing my entire plans for 2020. Um, I'm going to have to switch out my, my mania plan for the first project that I had on, on the schedule. Um, I'm going to have to switch out my Jardin Privé, which if you remember was Mr. and Mrs. Quaker. I'm going to have to switch that out for, I've decided to switch it out for this. And the reason is I wasn't able to get the the floss for it. I really want to do that one in silks, but I feel like I need at least half a hank of two different colors and silks are kind of limited right now, especially from like Mosel and, um, Dinky Dyes and, um, Silks for You. So I'm just going to hold off on that. 
I will keep it out. I may start it another month this year. But for now, I'm switching that one out for this. Um, and I have a special, a, a special um, charted quote for that. I had um, asked Beth if she would chart me a quote that says, Time and chance happeneth to them all. It's a quote that I heard many, 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 many years ago. And it's the end of a slightly longer quote. Um, but in its translation, it, it's, it, it is actually a quote from the Bible. Um, but in the translation from its original language to English, um, the only word that they could translate it to, the one word, chance, the only word they could translate the original one was to chance. But the quote itself really means that time and God's favor, God's will, God's timing happens to everybody. That everybody is subject to God's timing and God's will. That's basically what the quote means. So, um, I am going to be starting that one. And that will be started... whatever the first day. I think it was the third I said because I was going to start on every Sunday. So, I might start it on the first. It depends. Um, depends on how I feel that day. Um, so, that is all the whips and that is all the haul. Mm, I lied. I just looked over. Um, I did get these glasses, and I think I mentioned that I had just ordered them and I was waiting for them to arrive in my last video. Um, I ordered these glasses. These are from Yachtosun, and I did order them from Amazon. Um, the, I'm going to look silly for a minute, so I'm going to put these on. These fit um, over your head like this. You can wear them like this. I don't wear them this close up to my eyes because I'm one where I have to look down so I wear them down here on the bridge of my nose I look down the stitch and then if I'm watching tv I can look up and see the tv right now I have a 2.5 um magnification in which is just what I need for like darker fabrics and um the higher count fabrics like my 40 count it's very helpful um these as you can see they also have a light and the button is here on the side can't tell it um but they it does light up anyway um they are rechargeable so the, the battery might be dead actually yeah i think the battery's dead so these these just need recharging um but it does light up it has two two brightnesses of the light um i really like these you can take this off this this is separate um i just keep it on there so that it keeps it on my head um they do come with four different strength magnification um it comes with a 1.5 and then the 2.5 3.5 and then a 5 that five <laughs> gave me a headache so fast. Um, but, um, yeah, that's, that's what it comes with. And it actually also comes with the, like a chamois lens cleaner thing, but I don't even remember what I've done with it at this point. But anyway, um, I've been using these and when I've been working on, like when I worked on Glennon Place, it is a darker fabric. Um, so I've been using these to help see the fabric holes a little bit better and it's working wonderfully. Um, however, like when I'm working on the long dog samplers and death by cross stitch, I'm really only using my readers because that's all I really need to use on that. Um, it's a li well, my readers are 2.0, so that's not that much of a difference, but it doesn't make my head hurt 
<laughs> if I wear them for a while. So, and I don't, I don't need a ton of extra magnification on that. I just need that little bit of extra oomph for that one because it's a 32 count. The holes are big as it is. Um, very, very light fabric. It's easy. Um, so I've been using those and I like them. I will post a link to the listing down below in the description box. Um, and I think that's it for right now. I don't think I worked on anything else other than what I told you that I can't find right now. Um, so I have a little bit of news and if you don't care about personal stuff, see you later. I am mad at you, but it's, it's some big news ahead. Um, I did have a new start back in February and it's going to be due November 12th. So yeah, I found out, um, about the middle of March, I found out that, um, I'm expecting and I don't know, um, what I'm having yet at this point, but as with my last two kids, if you don't remember, it's been like, my, my youngest is 22. So, um, it's been a couple of decades since I had a kid. Um, as with my last kids, I kind of knew what I was having. I kind of had that intuition that I knew what I was having. Um, don't technically know what it is yet, but I feel like it's going to be a boy. Um, and, uh, we're really excited because... Um, Andy doesn't have any kids of his own and he's, he's really wanted one. And I've, I've kind of, since we've been together, I've told him like, if it happens, it happens, you know, you know, I can do that for you. <laughs> um, but I, I, I love him enough that I would do that for him. However, once I have this little bundle of joy, I'm going to tell the doctors cut it, tie it off, burn it, whatever I'm not having anymore. I, and I want to make that completely clear that I'm not having anymore. Um, so yeah, we're, we're a little excited and that's kind of the reason why I wasn't feeling good in March. <laughs> um, I went to, I, I was increasing, like I was always tired and I just, my stomach wasn't feeling good. Like not to the point where I was right out nauseous but it was just enough to mess with my appetite where I didn't want to really eat anything or I didn't really want to eat much so I finally went to the walk-in clinic and I had to wait for Annie to get home and so I decided well let me take a test just to make sure and they took the test I took the test and yeah it came out positive and so I went to the walk-in clinic later that day. They did another test and they said, yay, you're pregnant, congratulations. And so um, eventually I was able to make an appointment with an actual OBGYN. They did another test and then confirmed, yes, I'm pregnant. And um, at this point, I'm about 11 and a half weeks, give or take. Um, so not quite not quite 12 weeks so and uh, like I said the due date they've got right at um, November 12th so I told Annie it's like this, this kid comes out early on Halloween we may name it Michael Jason we'll see um, <laughs> that's just a little little humor that we share so there's that and the same day that I got the test that I was pregnant, I also got an invoice for StitchCon and I couldn't remember how many, how long I had, they give you to pay it. I want to say it was a week, but I didn't want to take any chances. So I went ahead and paid that sucker right away, like within 10 minutes. And then I found out like, couple weeks ago because I haven't been watching Floss Tube so I don't know if Pam and Steph had mentioned it in their videos I'm sure they probably did 
but I haven't been watching Lost 2. Um, and I found out a couple weeks ago, um, while I happened to be over at my mom's house, my stepdad passed away unexpectedly. Um, I found out that SitchCon was canceled for this year. But the good news is for that is, I mean, the good news is that if you're already registered, you can, you can get the refund if you want to. But if you want to stay registered, then your spot automatically transfers to 20, to one of the two stitch cons they're having next year. They're making up for the fact that there's, wasn't one this year. So they're having two um, on each consecutive weekend in June. So I do need to, eventually, I need to kind of figure out. I was kind of looking forward to it this year because it was going to be like a last hurrah before the baby was born. Um, and I don't know how things are going to play out next year, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep myself registered just in case. Um, but I definitely want to try to go next week. Um, next week, next year. Um, so I'm going to stay registered. Um, eventually I'm going to figure out which weekend I want to go to, but, um, I'm still in for StitchCon, so unless anything changes between in the next year, year and a month, then you guys might see me at StitchCon 2021. One of them, anyway. I'm kind of leaning more towards the first weekend, which I think, I don't even want to, I don't even want to guess what that date is. Um, I'm kind of leaning toward the first weekend, um, but I will figure that out later. But I'm so excited because um, this is the first year that I signed up to be on the wait list for StitchCon. And I actually snuck in right there at the last minute. Because I feel like I was one of the last people to get invoiced for this year. Um, and I'm so happy. I, I feel like I just snuck in under the radar. Um, so I'm excited about it. Um, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to keep my excitement over to 2021 um and just have to be saving up for the the money for the trip and stuff so um because with the the um the COVID-19 my restaurant I haven't been working um but luckily I have been getting unemployment um my restaurant that I work was working at or that I work at um they actually their last day of being open was March the 27th. So I haven't worked it since March 27th. So in over a month, in about a month. So to say it more formally, to make it sound better, um, I'm, I'm on furlough from my job. And I really hope that they're able to open back up um, after all this. Because some places, they just, they can't afford to, uh, to maintain business after having been closed. So, I really hope, um, I really hope the restaurant can open back up. And they decided to close down, um, because they, they, they said it was for the safety of their customers and their employees and stuff like that. But I kind of feel like it also had to do with it might have been costing them more to run each day than what they were bringing in on just carry out. So we'll see. Like I said, I hope, I'm hoping they're able to open back up and maybe it won't be too much longer. Maybe it'll only be another couple of weeks. Here's hoping. Um, because while the unemployment is good right now, um, I would like to eventually get back to work so that I'm not just sitting around like a lazy bum all day, every day. Um, and, and I was kind of glad that I didn't have to go to work in the first, in the first few weeks cause I was still kind of sick. And, um, but eventually I was able to start taking something for it. And now I, I really don't have to take anything for it. Maybe once every blue moon, um, because it, for the most part, it's it, the the sickness is 
subsided and I'm able to eat for the most part. So there's that. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah. And I, I mentioned that my stepdad passed away unexpectedly um, a couple of weeks ago um, due to suicide. And um, I won't go into the, the details. Um, but my mom had gone out, every, she, seemed, she said everything seemed fine. She had gone out to run up the road and get them some breakfast, um, from Bojangles. And by the time she came back, he was gone. He was, he was dead. And so I stayed with her for about five nights, um, until after the funeral. And, uh, so she, she seems like she's doing okay. She's, she's hanging in there. She's a tough woman. Um, but she, she was just all kind of scattered the, that whole weekend because it happened on a Thursday and the, the funeral was on Monday of last week. So, and I think, and I, I, Told her I had to come back. I, I stayed with her Monday night, but then I came home Tuesday. And I know I kind of feel bad that I may have left her so soon after the funeral, but I was so totally uncomfortable the whole time I was there. And um, it was just like there. I wanted to get back home. Um, and plus, I mean, she seemed like she was doing okay. She's, like I said, she's a strong woman and she. Um, she's pulling through. She's, she's, she's doing okay now. She's doing better than she was. So, because, you know, we've talked on the phone a couple of times since then. And, um, my, my son, my oldest, he's, um, he's gone over there and I think he took her out to lunch the other day or took her out and they got lunch and brought it back to her house and ate. And, um, I think she said he was supposed to be taking her by the, the grave um, tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, um, he's he's been hanging out with her. My daughter, as much as I'm sure she wants to be there, she's back in Georgia. So it's not really as feasible for her to come back um, just, just to drive back. But um, I'm sure she's... I'm sure she's thinking about everybody, but, um, I'm really wondering, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still wondering where that project is. I will find it and I will show it. I will show it next time. But, uh, I think that's going to be it for this time around. And honestly, I kind of expected this video to run longer. Um, so yeah. Nothing else going on around here. There's There's been some big news <laughs> over these last uh, couple of weeks. But um, other than that, everything's pretty normal. I hang around the house most of the time. I don't really go out that much. Um, just because I, I really don't want any chance of exposing myself to whatever might be out there. And plus, I'm more comfortable staying home. I'm a home. I'm a homebody, so I'm good. I'm super. So, I guess I'm not. I'm gonna stop rambling now. Um, be sure to get your name in in the comments down here if you want a chance to win that Taddy Teddy calendar. I said, just let me know if you had any favorite stuffed animals or toys in general growing up. Um, and if you still have them or not, I don't know. I don't have anything left from my childhood. Go figure. <laughs> um, the closest thing I have to anything that I've brought from my youth is I have a bean pot that belongs to my grandmother, but I wouldn't call that a toy. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and there that, if you're interested in that um, giveaway, show it again. Teddy Teddy's calendar. Super cute. Um, you have the calendar part 
and then at the back is where you have the um all the patterns um they're i'm not gonna show you like the whole pattern but like you can see what they look like anyway there's that um so yeah that's gonna do it for me today sorry it took me so long to come back hopefully it won't take me as long i feel like my stitching bug is kind of getting back into the swing of things um it's not full-on raging right now but i feel like i i'm able to get some done um i did try knitting i did try my hand at learning to knit but the needles that I have, like, I got, I got the movements and I got the technique down and everything. But these needles, I have, like, these, only thing I had was, um, some knitting stuff that Andy had. I guess it was his mom's. And these are metal and they're very slick. Um, I know this one is small, but I do have, a, a, a one that's slightly bigger. Um, so, I'm going to maybe try again when I can get some new needles that aren't so slick um maybe some wooden ones or some plastic ones that um um might hold a bit because my main problem was that my thread kept my, my yarn kept falling off um and like the tension just I just wasn't happy with it but I'm gonna keep trying I'm gonna try again in the future um crochet mm-hmm -mm crochet was out of the question I did try it there's there's too much going on with how to hold the, th the yarn and the tension and all that stuff so I'm just like yeah no if I try if I get in on any of these on either one of those it's probably gonna be knitting but I'm gonna have to try again later with a different with some different needles so there's that um I've been doing a little bit of diamond painting as well not a whole lot. Been working on Cali, which I'm looking at right now on the drafting board, drafting table. And um, I might actually do some diamond painting today if I feel like it. It's it's just I'm I'm in on that bottom row. It's just a lot of the white where she's sitting on a white windowsill. Um, but yeah, that's been the last couple of months for me. So. Um, with that being said, I am finally going to get out of here and, um, wish you guys a great week. I'm not going to promise I'll be back in a couple of weeks, but I'll be back as soon as I can, as soon as I have enough to talk about. So, um, have a great, have a great week, get lots of stitching in, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, um, the giveaway, I will leave it open until... At least two weeks or until I get ready to do another video. So, there's that. <laughs> Bye, guys.